Hi everyone, welcome to the Text Passion Podcast. I wanted to do this video in a podcast this style, and in today's episode, I want to discuss the uh, Raspberry Pi alternatives. Uh, recently, I'm in the market for purchasing a new Raspberry Pi, and I've realized it is impossible to get it at the MSRP price. Uh, some of you have reached out, and I've seen some comments uh, that it is impossible to really find a Raspberry Pi at a decent price. So I thought I'd look at some alternatives. I went ahead and did some research. I started with ChatGPT here. It gave me a few options. Uh, keep in mind that ChatGPT doesn't have the latest information. Like it's only been trained, I believe, up until 2019. So ChatGPT will not have the most recent information. Keep that in mind. Uh, some of the options that ChatGPT gave me is like Ordrino. I do want to save that for a different video. So yeah, I want to start by looking at some of these options that ChatGPT suggested. Uh, one of those is the bagel bone, and I thought this was funny because of the dog food here. Uh, very interesting. Uh, the other one is uh, Od Odroid. I think that's uh, that's another option that ChatGPT suggested. Um, I hope I'm not butchering these names. Uh, I'll do my best. And then the other one is the uh, Latte Panda. So yeah, these are these are a couple of the options that ChatGPT suggested. Uh, these are did not these did not make it to my list. Now I made a, an Excel sheet that I will share with you at the end of this video. Hopefully, it will help you with your purchase decision. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the better options, in my opinion. Uh, keep in mind, everything in this video is just my opinion. I'm in the market. I'm just doing some research to uh, look for some alternatives, uh, at least until we can you know, buy the Raspberry Pi at the MSRP price. Uh, so, so I want to start by showing the actual Raspberry Pi, just in case someone who is new in the market and uh, don't know uh, what the Raspberry Pi looks like. Uh, I'm sure most of you do, but if, if you are new to the market, then this is the actual real Raspberry Pi. Uh, the MSRP price uh, supposed to be much lower than this, but right now, uh, it has been uh, out of stock, so you can find it on eBay or Amazon, but it's definitely overpriced. Another option here is the Rock Pie. The Rock Pie looks really cool. Uh, I thought this is very, very similar to the original Raspberry Pi. I really like the way they did the color coding on the GPIO. Uh, I thought that's really cool. The only problem I have with it right now is also the price. So other than the price, this looks like a good uh, copy of the Raspberry Pi. So I thought this one very interesting to keep an eye on. Hopefully uh, the price will drop soon. Uh, this is uh, another option. It's called the Orange Pi 5. Uh, there is an Orange Pi 5 and there is an Orange Pi 3. Uh, this one is a pricey. However, this is a power machine. So uh, if you're going to pay the money, I would say this is the board that you probably worth paying the money for. Uh, other than that, like if you're going to spend the 150 for the for the original Raspberry Pi or the $100 for the Rock Pi, I would actually use the money and prefer to... I see a better value in buying the Orange Pi 5 in this, in this scenario. Now there is uh, the Orange Pi 3, and this one is much cheaper. However, keep in, uh, keep in mind that these Orange Pi, they do not have the standard 40-pin uh, GPIO. Uh, they have the 26, I believe, GPIO. So this is kind of, a, could be a deal breaker, depends on your project. Uh, I'll, I'll, I did actually put all these on my Excel, so I'll, I'll share that with you at the end. Um, there's this option here, the Banana Pie. Uh, I thought this one is interesting, but also the price is kind of high. Uh, in a second, I'll show you my favorite one, or at least the one I think it's a good value out of those options uh, right now. Uh, so, so the next one here is uh, the Potato or Lee Potato. Uh, I thought the name is really cool. Uh, this is not a bad price. 
However, I think there is a better option for $5 more, which is from the same company, by the way. This is the uh, Libre computer. Uh, so, so this is uh, the, uh, the Renegade is like the potato brother, but it's a little bit more powerful. You get a gigabit Ethernet and you get a USB 3 uh, for $5 more. I thought this is the best option out of everything I'm showing today in this video. Uh, considering the price again so like i'm keeping the price in mind i think this is the best option so far uh, it is for 40 dollars on amazon and i think this is not a bad deal uh, it looks similar to the raspberry pi it has the same gpios uh, i think this one is a good is a good option so far uh, the next one i have here on the list is the uh, NanoPi, not a bad option. However, it's a little bit pricey. So finally, I want to show this Excel sheet that I put together, and hopefully this will help you to make a purchase decision. I did list all the models uh, that I thought there were not a bad uh, idea, at least to list here. Uh, obviously, this will depend on your project. So if Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is a deal breaker, then uh, that's going to influence your decision. If the 40 pin or the 26 pin is enough, uh, do you need that PCIe uh, that's on the NanoPi? Is that helpful? Uh, so it, it's going to depend heavily on your uh, project and what you need to do with it. Uh, there is also an onboard storage. So these are the things that worth pointing out, uh, that the 26 pins, the PCIe, uh, there is an onboard storage on some of them. Not all of them come with uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, as part of the board, but it can always be added via USB. So that's not a deal breaker in my opinion. Obviously, these prices are uh, what I found on Amazon as of today. Uh, I'm not being paid or I'm not recommending anything. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, if search the internet if you can buy if you can find a better deal please do yeah hopefully this was helpful uh, let me know what you think uh, are you looking for an alternative uh, or do you just like stick with the original raspberry pi have you tried any of those uh, the one i'm really considering is the renegade because for the bluetooth and the wi-fi i think i can easily add those through the usb and uh yeah, it's only 40 bucks. I thought this was the best deal in my opinion. Uh, obviously, it, this, this could also vary depending on your project. You can pause the video here and uh, take a screenshot of this Excel sheet. Hopefully, I did not miss anything. I did my best to make sure these information are accurate to the best of my knowledge. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.